Hello Aries, this is your June 2018 reading. Understand this may not resonate with all Aries individuals. I just wanted to get that out there, okay? Because a lot of people think this is a personal reading. It's not. You also probably have been watching other readers, so you probably got a good idea what the cards mean. So I have no, I have no problem with you interpreting the cards the way it, it pertains to you. But this is a June 2018 reading for Aries. June 2018 reading for Aries. June 2018 Aries. I'm sorry I'm late, but I had a little bit of an illness. A lot of people are. I really don't read very well when I'm too sick. I mean, I can still read, but I'd rather be uh, feeling better than I am. Seven of Swords Reverse. I got this for another sign. I don't remember what it is, but it's like um, someone's no longer wanting to fly under the radar. If someone's having sneaky behavior, whether it be you or the person you're associated with, uh, it may come to light. They may see it, or you just may not want to do that. You may not want to be involved in that type of behavior. Is a tower card. It's in reverse. It's good. It's in reverse. It means you might have avoided a certain situation with a possible um, five of cups situation also. Because when you got the five of cups, it's crossing the tower card. It means it's a, so a sorrowful situation, disappointment. Um, someone's crying over spilt milk. And um, so I'm thinking you're trying to avoid you know, sadness and disappointment. And, and that's what you did. With the tower reverse, you're definitely avoiding something. Let me just... Had a love thing. Changes in, in the near future. You're not, no one's dealing with strife. It's in reverse. And more temperance at the end. But like I said, you know, more balance at the end. But we're going to find out more about this situation with the Tower card in reverse. Why is the Tower card in reverse for uh, Aries in June? I mean, it's a good thing that it's in reverse. You're not going to accept a Tower situation in your life over a disappointment, possibly. Why is it there? Could be over relationship, a contract, court, the status quo. This is all kind of things. The Hierophant reverse means something didn't come through. Something didn't come through. So you avoided a tower situation of disappointment with a possible relationship, um, maybe a court session, uh, contracts, anything like that. The status quo, family get together. Um, you avoided a tower situation. The goal is the Ace of Wands. In, the, in other words, you want a passionate new beginning. You're wanting to really put something, you want to start something that you really want. So why is the Ace of Wands there? Why is the Ace of Wands as the goal or what you're wanting, they should say. It's the same thing. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, something's got you. Uh, you're wanting this Ace of Wands energy, but at the same time, you've got the Queen of Wands in reverse. This may be you and that you're just feeling a little put out because you're not getting that uh, beginning you want it. So you're aiming for it, but you're a little turned around about it. Something that irritated you. Now it's a foundation. You got the wheel of fortune. It is in reverse, but it's the foundation. It's what's going on right now. You think that the wheel of fortune is not going in your favor. So let's see. Why is the wheel of fortune in reverse for Aries? The moon, something came out. Maybe you wanted something and and maybe you thought something was fortunate and then you found out it wasn't because the moon is in reverse. A secret came out. Hope you can see all these. The moon. Let me get one more card for that. The for wheel of fortune in reverse and the moon reversed. Why is it there? Yeah, messages didn't come across very well either. I'm not thinking that you didn't get a message, even though this is in reverse. A lot of times it indicates a message didn't come through, or some just didn't come through. 
the way you wanted it to. Like maybe you got the message and it was not what you wanted to hear. Now you got the Two of Cups, the Love card. It's in the past. It's in the upright. So you had something you loved. You had something that you desired that you, you know, that was pleasant. So why is the Two of Cups there in the past for Aries? The hangman is in reverse because you no longer had to wait on something and, and you like that. You got the go ahead, you know, in your own mind or maybe your job or relationship. You got the go ahead. It's no longer um, just hanging around in the past and you went for something, but you also avoided a tower situation. Leave it in the comments if you avoided a tower situation. In the near future, you got the two of uh, pentacles. And here in, th in this deck, it's, it's change. It's uh, trying to get things together and changing. And to change, you have to let go one thing and go with another. Another thing is when someone's juggling two different things and they're trying to decide which one to stick with and which one to drop. But change is coming in the near future for Aries, okay? My cat jumps up here. I don't know what to tell you. We'll keep on reading. Why is the Two of Pentacles there? Queen of Swords. Hmm. I need another card for that one. Queen of Swords can be an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Change with this Queen of Swords energy that's turned around. Or maybe you're trying to change a, a certain type of situation, information. Maybe you've got someone like this in your life that has this energy. The Queen of Swords reverse. She's not fun to deal with. She cuts like a knife when she talks, or he. But you're trying to change, so that may be you, and you're just taking on that energy. I need another card for the Two of Pentacles for Aries. There's that Seven of Swords trying to change this. Uh, like I said, this could be flying under the radar, sneaky behavior, just not liking everybody to know what you're up to. So you're trying to... Uh, Creep on by, as they say. I hate to use that word. But change is in order with the Queen of Swords over possibly a sneaky situation or something flying under the radar that you don't want anybody to know. Or maybe someone in your life doesn't want you to know. Now we got the um, possible future outcome and the advice card is the Six of Pentacles. It's in reverse. And that's considered a success card. Blah. Six of Pentacles. Why are you in reverse? You got balance in the end. I'm going to clarify that too. That's good. But the Six of Pentacles, possible future outcome. I'm thinking that's what it is if you're not careful with the King of Cups. You got people here. King of Cups is can, is a backwards type of water sign possibly. Um, that's Scorpio, uh, Pisces, Cancer. And they're in the reverse. So you may not have success with this person. Maybe it has to do with that tower situation that you are no longer accepting. Now, what you got coming towards you, the outside environment, or what people are thinking, is the Five of uh, Wands reverse. And that's like um, competition, a little bit of a battle situation, but it's in reverse, so maybe no one's wanting to argue with you. They're just done arguing, which I could see that. Why is the uh, Five of Wands in reverse? I was looking over all the cards, that's why I, I stopped for a second there. Five of uh, Wands, why are you in reverse coming towards Aries? Judgment. Yeah, uh, someone's not wanting to battle. There was a judgment. It's in reverse. So I'm thinking this person didn't like something you said or you didn't like something they said. They said something that wasn't right or did something that wasn't right, but they're also not willing to battle. It's like something wasn't, something wasn't done right. Something wasn't, I don't know, maybe judgment is off against Aries. And maybe they're just not telling you. You know, is that maybe what they're thinking or just not letting you know. Now, as your hopes and fears, you got the Prince of Discs it's in reverse. So let's find out what that is about a little bit more first. Prince of Discs, why are you there? 
Why are you there for Aries as a, a fear factor or hope or wanting something to happen? King of Pentacles in reverse. I'm just thinking it could be a, a, a earth element. Someone who's taken on that energy. They don't necessarily have to be an earth sign. But let me get one more card for that. Ah, I was spilling these. And that is the two of wands. It's maybe that you don't want, you don't want the, uh, what they have to offer, and that you may want something else. And they this this King of Pentacles, they may want to offer you something, and you may want to choose something else. And you know, King of Pentacles, Earth element, that is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But with the two of wands, it's a person that has two choices to be made. And one of them is better than the other, and they got to make that choice. It may be, even though one's better, it's also going to be a very difficult situation when they turn the other down. So I don't know what that, I'm thinking it's a fear. Now, as the outcome, you got the art card. That's like temperance. It's balance. That's uh, uh, good temperament. Got your good head on your shoulders in the end. That's good. Let's find out why. Maybe it'll give us some more information for Aries. Not a bad month. You avoided a tower situation. That's cool. Ooh. Yeah, you held back, got good temperance, and now you are the king of wands in the upright. So you're holding back. You're, you're going to save some money, save some energy, save, save emotions, keep things to yourself possibly, remain balanced, and, become, and take on the energy of the king of wands like... You're supposed to, and you're going to take all this on, and it's going to work out, and you're going to overcome a burden. So apparently you avoided a tower situation. I don't know what the tower was. You can leave it in the comments, and I'll be uh, uploading this as soon as I can. Okay? Bye.